So what did you think of me when you first met me? I thought you were so polite and so well-mannered and like, oh, she must be a senior. She's got her stuff together. <laughs> I thought, okay, if all the students are like this, I'm gonna have an easy time here. <laughs> what are you most proud of that you've achieved in high school? Getting this far. My mom didn't graduate, she was a junior. My grandma was a sophomore, didn't graduate. So basically me being this close and almost done, that's what I'm most proud of because a lot of my family members didn't make it that far. What do you feel like has been like your proudest moment since you've grown as an individual? You made me realize so many different things and you made me grow as a, a independent woman and I shouldn't be um, following the wrong people and you made me who I am right now. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of challenges were you facing when you first started coming to CIS last year? It's hard to find a friend when you are at new school. Mm -hmm. and I just have one friend and then I start making friends in CIS. And, and the class and the teacher is like a big challenge for me too. Like I didn't understand them. I never have a male teacher too. That was new for you, yeah. to have a male teacher and have to work with them. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. interesting. What will you remember about me? Oh goodness, your smile. You come in this room and you're just, good morning, miss, how are you? What was going on for you during your sophomore year that brought you to CIS? I ended up going to a mental hospital and I was still going through bullying. Mm -hmm. And I've been having, getting bullied since elementary. The only time I'd ever be happy is when I saw my dad and that was once every two months, three months. Could you talk a little bit about the CIS coordinator you had before me? She got me through my mom's alcoholic tendencies. Yeah. My mom, yeah, she dropped us off at her friend's house and said, we'd be back in two weeks when I have enough money. Mm -hmm. And it was a month before she came back. So what was going on in your life um, in eighth grade when you first came into CIS? My mom was going through cancer. She was never at home. It was just me, and I always thought I was alone. Have there been any challenges that you've been able to overcome? You were there, especially when Arel would cry to you and tell you what, were, what bad things were going on, and how I told you about my dad being really abusive. I'm really glad that you, you've never left me down. Why do you feel that uh, communities and schools is kind of like a second home to you? You, because of you. You always ask me how I'm doing, even if, you know, if I don't want to say anything or I don't care, even if, like, let's say a student doesn't even care about this program, you still ask him, how are you doing, you know? Mm -hmm. How's your family? You know, that type of stuff. What makes <laughs> you proud of me? Everything makes me proud of you. I'm proud of you every day. I'm proud of the journey that you've had to go through. I remember yeah. when we looked on the map to see how far you had to travel, and you said, I, I can't believe I did that. Yeah. <laughs> what impact have I made in you? Um, okay, I'm trying to, no, Say, I know, I know, <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. I was worried about what, how I was going to be able to affect you guys, but you guys came into my life and you changed it. What's been one of your greatest achievements and how did CIS help with that? I think it would be getting into Sam Houston. That was like my dream college and you helped me with the fast one. It was like, well, I can help you if you need. And so you did. And it was just... Even my counselors reached out to me. And I guess the motivation that the program gave me to not give up, that I'm always going to have a future. And it, I'm in charge of it. Not my past, not anyone else, it's just me. That gave me hope. And then when I got that letter that I'm now accepted, I was like, Whoa. <laughs> I wanted to break down. And counselors at school gave me that. They were just like, yay, like they, tro they showed true excitement for me. Mm -hmm. And that really like, I was like, wow, people actually care about me or are actually happy for me. Mm -hmm. so. What did you just say? Thank you. How do I say you're welcome? Galombe. Oh, Galombe, you're welcome. Mm -hmm.